Welcome back, everybody. In the kitchen with Rod from Jambalaya's, uh, doing some more uh, Cajun and Southern cooking. Uh, where'd you grow up, Rod? I grew up in a town called Norco. It's about 15 minutes northwest of New Orleans, right on the Mississippi River. It's between Lake Pontchartrain and the Mississippi River. There's like a strip of land that's all swamp around me. It kind of built up in the swamp. But yeah, so that's where I grew up at. Um, spent my whole life down there and, you know, got to grow up eating the food that people travel there to eat now, you know? So uh, I took it for granted, and the only way for me to do it up here is to do it myself. So I've always, I've always done it, but, you know. So. And it, it's a neat story because basically, you know, uh, it was always a dream of his to open a business like this. But, you know, you got caught up in a regular job and kids, mm -hmm. and then a couple of years ago uh, got dealt a, a blow, which happens to, you know, that happens so many times where you think it's a bad thing. You know, you lose your job or your job ends, and, and it's like, what am I going to do now? And uh, here we are. Before, before I could see the writing on the wall, I knew the, um, the company was in jeopardy of closing down. So uh, I had already kind of started the the process of, of doing this, um, but it happened sooner than I thought it would, so it kind of pushed me to move a little quicker than I had liked, but it worked out. I mean, we had a great first year. Um, we continue to build fans, and you know, we're, we're doing some big things this year, uh, and, and this is, I couldn't have scripted it any better. Doing I mean, what you love. There's nothing like love. that. Yep, nothing, nothing like that. All right, we're making uh, poor boy sandwiches, <laughs> which uh, every little tavern uh, down, you know, New Orleans uh, makes it their own way. It's kind of like getting a burger up here. They've all got them, right. um, and they're all different, and they're all pretty fabulous, and they're pretty simple. It's, you know, uh, we're doing catfish, you shrimp, there's, you name it, shrimp, you can do it. Shrimp, oyster, soft shell crab, you can put your perch, your walleye, your, you know, whatever. Any whatever. kind of fish, uh, hot sausage, roast beef po' boys. Mm. I mean, mm. there's a ton of them. So this is the breading. We're gonna do the the um, the. This is a catfish, poor boy. I'll let you go ahead and bread it. What's in this? What's in your special breading? This is uh, some Zatarans fish fry, cornmeal, um, Tony Sacheries, and a couple tablespoons of breadcrumbs. Okay, Itali so Italian breadcrumbs. All dry. Um, all dry. We're not gonna do the egg bath or anything like no, that. We're no, no. You can do an egg milk wash if you'd like. I usually do. But for simplicity reasons today, okay. we're just gonna go ahead and batter right. it up and fry Abby it. Abby says, so. get to it. So yep. in. So we just want to dredge the, the catfish and the, and the breading here. Into the hot oil. We're just using a, a vegetable oil, is that what you use? Yeah, this is just a vegetable oil. Okay. Um, works out great. This is gonna cook very, very quickly. Yeah, it doesn't take long. I just like to get a nice coating mm -hmm. on there. And then I'm gonna go get the French bread that we've got in the oven. We pick up some great French bread at festival. And yeah, this is their, um, Take and bake artisan French bread, and also festivals um, crusty French bread that they make in store is another great product. Um, so e either one of those uh, is what I exclusively use for my po' boys. So good stuff. Yeah, yeah, they do a great job. I'm gonna keep an eye on the fish here, and I know this is yeah, you just we're getting there. Start to float and turn them over. Okay. So we'll get everything cooked. And the same there. recipe you could do with shrimp, just bread it like that. And shrimp. shrimp, oysters, okay. uh, alligator, sausage. Um, I mean, the list goes on. Now, um, we've got the dressing ingredients. I'll let you go ahead and, and get working with the French bread. But uh, shredded lettuce, sliced tomatoes, and dill pickle. That's the classic stuff that you put on the sandwich, right? Yeah, yeah. in New Orleans, when you go to any po' boy shop, they're going to ask you if you want it dressed. I and, always say uh, yes. And if you don't know what that means, uh, this is this is what having it dressed is, and that's lettuce, tomato, pickle, mayonnaise, hot sauce, uh, and of course you can order it any any way you like. Um, How's that fish looking? Those looking two are just good. about there. So um, just straight so, up mayo. Yep, straight up mayonnaise. So what we do is we just take our fish fillets, you okay. lay them on the bread, take you a little bit of lettuce. Shredded lettuce here, dress it up Cajun style, a few tomatoes. Got to be the dill pickle. Dill pickle. Yep. Sweet pickle relish is good for tartar sauce, but or sweet pickles, but we'll leave them off the sandwiches. Oh. Hit it with some mayo. Yum. A little hot sauce. A little Tabasco on the top. Serve that with the corn and crab bisque right. and taste of the south there. Give her a cut. 
Oh my goodness gracious. And there she is, catfish po' boy. That looks fantastic. Again, wow. super quick. I mean, this whole meal right here, if you wanted to serve this one night, less than 30 minutes. Love it. Prep mm -hmm. time and everything and, and cooking time. And if you did them together, you know, let your, um, your corn and crab bisque cook slowly while you fry your catfish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Soup and sandwich, yep, Cajun style. Yep. Taste of the South, can't beat it. If you want to get a hold of Rod and have him bring, bring his big, I mean, it's big, black custom-made jambalaya pot to your party, uh, you can find him online, you can find him on Facebook. Or call uh, us. Or call you, yeah. 920-277-5366. All right, good stuff. Always great to see you. Thanks always so much. Always great to be here. It's always a pleasure. Thank you very much. You bet. I can hardly wait to dig in. Stay with us.